here we are today. What day is it? Sunday. 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 Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We Bro. are going to Midland, California. We're trying to outrun the snow. So that's what we're doing. And I got all my, my toque, my mitts, I got my insulated coveralls, and my winty boots. So I think we're good to go. <laughs> Robin's not too sure about this. She's still shaking her head like I showed up and let's go! This is a super big day for us, you guys. I am waiting for delivery of my new rig. My full-time life is taking a major turn. I'm doing something completely different, and the boy and I are here waiting inside of my new truck. This truck will be pulling my new rig, but it doesn't have the right hitch yet, and frankly, I don't know how to drive my new rig yet. I need to take some lessons, and so the dealership that I bought it from was gracious enough to deliver it to this camping spot. It's winter here and I think I might stay here for, I don't know, a month, a month and a half before I head south. I feel like all I do is move. Good Lord. I had to move a lot of my stuff out of the Tiffin for it to go to Alabama to try to be fixed. And then I had to move it into Doug's house and out of Doug's house and then back into the Tiffin. And then it didn't work again. So I'm watching this guy back this thing up. It's so impressive. There's a tiny little space and he's trying to get me closer to the outlets for water and sewer and everything. And I'm trying to learn while he's doing it. Wow. I'm glad he's doing it this very first time and not me. Okay, so it's dusk here. And we finally got everything unloaded from the cars and figured out how to do the water. And thank God for Doug. Doug's in there. He's a champ. Say hi, Doug. Hi. Hi, Doug. Hi. Hi. Thank God I have him here to help because look at this place. It is a freaking mess. But we're determined to, you know, make some space at least so we can go to bed tonight. Jeez. It's just really, really snowy here and cold. So I have family in Colorado, like you guys know, and every year I come up and see them for the holidays. Normally I stay at a state park, but it's very expensive. And this time I found like an RV park campground that was about an hour from my family, but when I first started to stay here, it was about 45 bucks a night for a hookup, which I need because it's really cold here. So I originally was gonna stay for just a couple of weeks, but then I found out that the same price I paid for a couple of weeks was what it cost for a month. I have my book to finish and to get to the TED Talk. So what I did was I actually had my new fifth wheel, which is right here, delivered here, and then take lessons to see how to drive it, but it was too snowy, look who it is. It's Badge. Say hi, Badge. What are we doing? <laughs> We're getting what ready are you to doing, leave. Kiddo? We're getting ready to We're leave. We're getting here. ready to leave, baby. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's snowing, and so we are trying really fast to get out of here um, before it comes down. Is this and the unedited version? It will be now. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm gonna get you to drive it out of here. You are not. Oh yeah, I am. No, I'm not. I Listen. It out. It's all good, baby. It's about five seventy, I think, a month but then I also pay for electric. They do it on a meter. Usually when you just pay for a couple of weeks or a night, the electric is free. But here, month to month, I had to pay for the electric and also the propane. Now, they just took my propane tank, but they offered a 100 gallon propane tank here for $5 a month that they then filled for me like every couple of weeks, they say. So it was worth it for me to stay here 
but I'm trying to get a window to get out. Now, I'll tell you I'm antsy after being in this place for two months. And I've wanted to leave earlier, but the weather just hasn't let us do it. I mean, we got a good foot like two days ago. And um, it's nice here. You know, there's a little store down there. The services are pretty good. They rent RVs from here as well. But, you know, like any small business, there are little problems. Like I ran out of propane like three times. Um, their tank gauge was a little bit off and I thought there was more propane than there wasn't. And I would run out, let's say, on a Friday. I woke up in the middle of the night and it was like 37 degrees inside my house. And uh, my dumb butt didn't have a backup because I thought I still had propane. So um, uh, that happened to me a couple of different times. And it was because they didn't have any propane, so they weren't filling anybody up. But they didn't tell us. So what I found is, of course, you know, when it's time to pay, they want that done the same day. But when it's time for a service, they, of course, want to do that in a couple of days. <laughs> but such is life, right? Um, for the most part, this has been really great. I mean, you can see over here... I got a spot up on a hill here, which is nice. There are wild turkeys here and deer every day. And, you know, they've got all the services that you need here. So, um, you know, I would come back here to the same spot again in the winter if I needed it because they gave me a heated hose. I didn't have one because I was going month to month. It provided me with propane and electric and water. And so for me, it's been great. But now I am headed to Arizona. Thank God if we can get there, we have to go over a mountain pass and a storm is coming in. Um, so I'm going to go now. It is freaking icy out here. <laughs> Try not to bust my ass. I swept the roof off because it's against the law to drive with snow on the roof. The only thing we got is we got about a two inch ice jam here about this wide and a little bit here and a little bit on the other side. But <laughs> if we have to, we'll put the slides in within an inch of the body. And then when we get down to uh, Santa Fe, we'll open it up and let it warm up. It's Jeez. not a big deal. Uh, the weather has not been helping us. Well, that's what we're trying to do, outrun the weather, because it's getting ugly. Okay. So. Let's do it. I know. Let's do it. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. We told them we were leaving today, so they grabbed the propane tank, and they unhooked our power, even though we're not leaving for hours. And so now... We didn't have any power to like finish the laundry inside and we all of a sudden don't have power with our jacks. We can't get out of here. And now we're trying to figure out even when we turn the power back on, why we don't have any power to the jacks. So, um, so staying in a place like this has its benefit, but also they can be a little crunchy. Well, for snag, this is what uh, levels and lifts up the rig so we can hitch it up and it's not powering on. It was working when they, they brought it here. All right, what's going on, Badge? Okay. The jacks have their own fuse, but we don't have no fuses. See, the fuse is blowing. What does it see? look like when it's blown? See, the center is gone. Oh! So there was a center there before. Yeah. Okay. Now this is, uh, what is this? This is a 10 amp. We put 15 in. So we'll see. Where did where you get that? I took it out of the television lift. <laughs> you took it out of the television. Still not working, huh? Mm -hmm. So you replaced the fuse. Well, we got one fuse. That might be for something else. We nah. found it. So that 15, that red fuse that was in there is for the jacks. So now. So the red fuse we took out. Yeah. You put in, you replaced it with a 15 you stole from somewhere else in my house. Yeah. Made it work? I thought it did make it work. Let's see what it does. So what it is, is this auto system here is auto leveling. But when you're in cold weather, you have to override it. So we're overriding. Now, what we want to do is put the back jacks and the middle jacks up, leave the front on jacks so that we can get the truck underneath. And then we're going to put everything up, slides in, and <laughs> Arizona, here we come. Okay, so how did you fix it? Uh, the fuse. Okay, so you found a broken fuse. Yeah, and then uh, remember I unplugged the module? Uh -huh. I forgot to plug one wire in. <laughs> Okay, that makes sense. All right, cool. So Badge is trying to back the truck in, but you can see there's a weird slant over there. This is what I was worried about, getting the truck in front of the fifth wheel so we can hook it up in this tiny space is difficult. And it's really, really icy. Oh, 
I was going to do this myself, but I thought I was going to hit the, uh, the cap of the fifth wheel with the truck. Now the slide draw closed, there's no water on the floor. Everything's good, so um, we could put 50 miles on, basically. It's still snowing a bit, but this is minor. This is not, this is a walk in the park. I tried to get her to dry, but she won't, so. <laughs> Look, Look, I didn't even film us hooking it up or getting the ice off the slides because we really had to go because the weather was turning. And We're I just thought now. it was not the time to train me to drive it since he already knows what he's doing, right? Yeah. Um, so as soon as we get out over this mountain pass, I will drive it. Yeah. Right? Okay, okay it's you and me. Yeah. The boy is down there. Hi, boy. He's happy. And um, wish us luck. We're going to go over a pass for the first time in my fifth wheel. Okay, sports fans. It's happening. Here we are. We are just outside of... Riton, New Mexico. Riton, New Mexico. Close enough. We went... Uh, what are we gone now? We've gone... Two and a half hours. 134 miles. And thing runs like a top. We, what was the name of that hill? Raton Pass. Raton Pass. And we went up there on cruise. And she would never could do that before. So that's a big deal. But she anyway. She has a cold. She has a cold. But, but she's, she's going to try it. She's going to drive this freaking thing right now. Because she can't believe how this I can steer this thing with one hand. <laughs> I'm ready. So she's ready to try this. You ready to I'm try ready, this? I'm this is the big time. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Stop talking about it. No, yeah, I'm going to watch let's, you. I want to put, put it in gear and let's go. 